The topic of this video is conferences. Setting up a conference bridge will allow a number of people from both within and outside of the organization to participate in the same call. First, log into the system and choose Administration from the Launchpad. From the Applications menu, choose the Conferences option. Those with internal extensions will dial the conference number that we are assigning to this bridge. Those from outside of the telephony system would dial either the DID of the inbound route associated with this conference number or choose an option from the IVR, also known as the auto attendant, that would direct them to this conference bridge. In this demo system, all of the conference bridges are four digits long and start with the prefix 9. The conference name can be any significant name and can include spaces. The user PIN or PIN code is an optional field. If you provide a value, any caller trying to join the conference bridge must provide the personal identification number in order to access the call. The next field, the admin PIN, is also optional. If you define a value for this field, then anyone supplying this code after dialing into the bridge becomes the conference leader. This role grants special permissions, such as the ability to remove participants from the call. You can record a message and then indicate it should be played when the callers join the call. Setting leader wait to yes allows you to define that the call will commence only after the conference leader has joined. During the wait period, any caller that has joined will not be able to converse with the other participants. Talker optimization reduces background noise by identifying the dominant speakers and muting the rest. Quiet mode prevents the system from playing the beeps that indicate when callers join or leave the conference. The user count function announces to each participant as he or she joins the conference how many participants are currently on the call. The user join leave function announces the caller's name when he or she joins or leaves the call. It is based on the name recorded by the caller when joining the conference. Music on hold is the audio track that is played while call participants are waiting for the leader to join the conference. When set to no, there will be silence. Allow menu provides conference control options. For example, pressing 1 will mute all conference participants. This option is relevant for the conference leader only. Pressing 4 will decrease the volume that the participant will hear, and pressing 5 will increase the volume. The Allow Menu feature is documented in detail in the Complete PBX Reference Guide, which is available for download from the SORCOM website. Use the Maximum Participants field to limit the number of participants. This is relevant if you have bandwidth concerns or if too large a conference will degrade its effectiveness. The final parameter, Mute on Join, will set the default connection status to Mute. The caller will be able to unmute the line if and when he or she is ready to contribute to the dialogue. The leader wait option or the allow menu option must be set to yes to enable participants to unmute themselves. Click submit changes and then apply config to save the settings to the system. This topic is covered in detail in the complete PBX reference guide which is available for download in PDF format from our website.